Hi and welcome back. This is ZN Solo 101 with another Minecraft tutorial. Today we're going to go over how to switch the version of Minecraft you're playing in the new launcher and how to set up multiple versions so every version you play will just be a few clicks away. Now there's a lot of good reasons to have different versions set up to play like uh, some servers don't keep updated or maybe you just want to play an older version. Whatever that reason is we should be able to get that straightened out today. It's pretty easy now that they've added these here tabs just right along here. All we need to do is click on the install tab. And this here does have options to play, edit, and duplicate. But the edit won't allow you to change the release or version. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a new one. And we'll do this for every version that we're going to play of Minecraft. So I'm going to put in 112.2. And I'm going to put that because I enjoy playing that. Now, this is the resolution. You can change that so that it'll set to default. I'll just leave it as it is. And there's some more options here. If you want to change how much RAM that you're using or your game has available to it, you can change this number here, I'm pretty sure, all the way up to 4. Um, don't quote me on that, though. Don't change that if you don't know what you're doing. Uh, this should be good. Pick your emblem. So I'm going to use this one so that I remember what it looks like. And create. I'm going to do this for two more versions. I'm going to do 114.2 as well. And select that version. I'm going to put it as a chest. And sometimes I like to go in PvP, so I'm going to put version 1.8. I hear that one's the best for PvP, so 1.8. Alright, that's as simple as it is. Now when you go back over here to the play tab, at the very bottom left hand corner, now you'll have a tab that you'll be able to select all of those versions that you just created. This should get you so that you don't have to uh, mess around with it every single time. You don't only have to set this here up one time and then you can just go and click on whatever version that you want to play. And it's just as easy as that, just click on it and on your way. Um, every single one of these will have to download the version, the Java file associated with it. So the first time that you're playing each one of these, it's going to have to download. So make sure you account for that. Uh, when you first set this up, I would suggest clicking on each one and clicking the play button so that it'll download the version that you currently have. I don't want to do that because it'll use a quite a bit of internet, but I'll click the play here while I end this here video so that you can see that it'll have to download all of the the file so only 56.22 megabytes isn't too bad but just to keep that in mind when you're setting up a few different profiles or a few different versions to play that each time that you go to play if you have slow internet that it is going to have to download every single time i just want to thank you guys again for watching if you uh, like my videos like and subscribe stay tuned for more if you have any questions or concerns definitely leave a comment down below thanks again for watching guys peace out